Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arnold with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm reviewing the SPY. Wednesday, March 23rd. So this morning I did a market video, and I said the market's probably going to be bearish today unless we got that more. And actually, hold on one second. Let me go back to the pre-market. No, hold on. What time did I do that? Well, it was like around here. We, we were gapping up slightly, slightly, just a baby gap in the morning. And instead of following through higher, which I said there was a possibility we could do to go higher on the day, we didn't. We ended up gapping lower than where I originally did the video in the morning. Open today was 204.11, so we came in. Since tomorrow's the last day before the holiday, Friday the market's closed, I don't, I don't know where we go. If we gap down, we'll fall. If we gap neutral, we'll fall. The only way we hold is if we gap up and we have to get up of, up of a lot. And and who knows, we might. There's a lot of econ out at 8.30 a.m. tomorrow before the open, one hour before the open. So there's a chance the market could gap up. The only way we rally tomorrow is if we gap up enough or gap down a lot. If it's neutral, our small gap down will drop. So just to let you know. But going back to what I was saying earlier, the market's still higher. Whether we fall tomorrow, close out the week before the holiday, a little bit down, it doesn't matter. We've had a beautiful rally. We've all, we've had, like I said earlier, since the February 11th trading session, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if you include today. Seven days and more than a month, we've had red days. That's like nothing. So we've had a lot of green days in the market. We've had a lot of buying in the market. The short squeeze I've talked about hasn't even, even actually happened. The short squeeze. Oops. I mean, there's a lot of different levels in here. Let, let me just find the biggest level, actually, now that I'm just looking at this one last time. like 208, 209. Remember these are areas. This is the area that I think can really squeeze the shorts before the high. But this is actually a deeper area than, it's 209. Once we get over 209, we should just continue blow. Get the short squeeze, the shorts will give it up, or most of them, not all of them, some will still wait to the high, but we'll go over the high too. And the market will continue higher beautiful market nice rally just a hundred percent retracement from the drop off from last year that happened in a few weeks now let's look at the call i made the call of a lifetime in the spy we're going to look at the options chain it's after hours 5 31 eastern time so well let's look at the end of september hold on Now, I'm going to point out a couple of things. Right now, the market's, this is the close, 203.20. Okay. So, so, in the money, obviously, it's not September, but end of September, in the money calls right now for the SPY are worth $9. Now, just follow me here. Now, I'm saying we will get over the high. Previous high was approximately 214. Out to September, that's worth 344, 355, close of today. So, that you see here where we close, 203, this is only $11 away. We made 100% retracement back up through from the last month, from February 11th, we actually rallied almost 12% in the market of the complete amount of the market. So get back up here to 214 is not even as much as the rally that we have from 181 to the low to 205-ish. Okay, just follow me here. So what I'm saying is, very interesting here because it's almost like nothing at all is moving since this 230 level and that's not even that far away so September we're talking about September mid September end of September whatever you want to do and you can even go out longer I mean whatever you want to do now but I'm telling you the market's higher so this is a little expensive to buy it here over the high what could it be worth well that's what I'm saying this could be worth nine dollars plus so it's a good return on investment. And if you buy these other ones here, 230, 240, 250, okay, these are really, really good. Why? Well, first of all, the 240s are ridiculously cheap. Three by seven, that means you could probably put an order out. You'd have to put it between the ass and the bed. And you put it out maybe like a five. So if you wanted to get 
50 contracts, which is 5,000 shares, and spend, this is ridiculousness actually, for the amount of money you have to spend. This is so ridiculous, it's not even funny. It's, it's actually a ridiculous call I'm, I'm saying here. And it's the same call I gave. I said call of a lifetime. Because let's just say, all right, in an ideal world, let's say it went to 250 by before September. You bought the 240 calls. You were $10 in the money at 5,000 contracts. Five that, well, no, I'm sorry. Five, 50 contracts, which is 5,000 shares. 5,000 shares times 10 is what? $50,000. So your profit would be $50,000 minus the cost of this which if it was five cents, five cents times 50 is what? $250. So your, your, your possible risk to reward is, is actually ridiculous. Let's just figure it out. You'd spend $250 and you'd make 50 grand if it goes to 250. This is really funny. Five cents divided by, no. I wanted to do five cents times 50, which is 250. 250 divided by 50,000, hold on. That's a 200% return on investment. 200%! 200% return on investment. You got time. You got time. These are not going to start moving until 209, 210. So you got today. You got tomorrow. You got Monday. You know, we're at 203, 34 into the close. I think we're gapping down here pre market or post market. Let me look. No, not really. No, this is like, actually, we're gapping up, but it's really neutral. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is this is a great call I made, call of a lifetime to buy. I sent it out on my email list. You still have time to get into it. You probably got a week, a week, because anything can happen between now and the beginning of April. April 1st is next week. This is really incredible. And one of my students did it. He took a crazy amount of size. He's already doubled his money in it. And I'm in it. I'm in it since December. So I've got to get back. I've, I've, I've got to get back, me personally, with the trade I'm in. I, I got to get back to the 209, 210 from the way I originally took it, which, which should happen in the next week. So congratulations to everyone who has followed my spy call. We are looking for a target of 250 between now and fall, late year 2016. What's going to determine if we get there by August or September or December? Well, how fast the buying comes into the market how the short squeeze plays out. When do we get the blow number? The blow number keeps getting lower because originally I thought the blow number was 220, 225. Every time I've seen them watch the market now, the blow number keeps getting lower and lower. I'm saying 209, 210, 215. So you know what I'm saying? It's actually good. The blow number is total short squeeze, huge amount of buying, new people coming to the market. Whether that's 209, 210, or 215, I don't know. We'll have to play it on and watch and see. Good luck, everyone. Have a great, wonderful, fabulous holiday weekend. Email me, Melissa, at thestockswish.com if you would like more information and if you would like to learn the Golden Gap class. The next class dates are April 2nd and 3rd for the bearish class, April 5th, 6th, and 7th for the bullish class, and the price of the class is going up as of April 1st. If you want to do the course, you get free retakes. No matter where you live online, you can do it. But the last date to sign up for the current price is March 31st. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information. And have a fantastic holiday.